he's the best. And he, he teaches it. He loves to teach. He taught me table manners. He taught me all kinds of manners, etiquette. He taught me that how to respect uh, elders and other people. And he had a very high regard for honesty. And he taught me that. He's a very good teacher. My mother is the sister of the youngest sister of my of Rabat Valera, Lulu Valera Sugueta. In Mami's family, we are one brother, Francisco Bambi, who was actually he calls him his foster son. He lived with him since he was since childhood. He actually grew up with him. And I have... So I'm his first degree nephew, but he practically adopted me. Because my parents and my sisters went to Iloilo. And I had to study in Lasag. So my uncle volunteered to take care of me. And he did take care of me like a father. Well, they, he used to, they used to be the guinea pigs of the tribe. He used to make these first gowns were made for his sisters. Uh -huh. yeah. the, 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 the three sisters, particularly. Tita Nena, Tita Didi, and my mom, Lulu. Every Saturday, we would go for lunches in his, for lunch in Mayon, his resident then. And we would stay there for until the afternoon. And those are our fondest memories of childhood growing up together with cousins and relatives. Every Saturday. And then Sundays with my Tita Nena, the Baldon, in Pina. All of us would, so every weekend we were together. Almost every weekend. He worked very unorthodox. Almost all the gowns he made were finish line. You know, the wedding is about to happen and the gown is half finished. You know, because he, to him, he cannot work without that uh, inspiration, no? He has to have inspiration before. He's really an artist. There's really no two ways about it. Uh, not only an artist, he's a genius. Because he had the problem also with nerves. And every year we took him to a hospital for rest and to, to get him recharged. And in Makati Med, Dr. Forrest decided to take, to have him take an IQ, mm -hmm. and he, he, became, he, he was a certified genius. The hospital confided in us that uh, Ramon Valera is a genius. I know that my dad was his favorite um, apo, and that well, I've seen my Lola's wedding gown, and it was designed by Ramon Valera. And a few years back, like early 2000s, when my tita got married, um, she actually used that same wedding gown. And I saw it for the first time, and because my family's been you know, raving about Ramon Valera and that he's a national artist, but then as a kid naman growing up, you don't know really what, what a national artist is. So I think I was around 11 or 12 when I first saw the wedding gown and I was so amazed like that like there was really a, such effort in the details <laughs> that I was so surprised when they told me that it was my Lola's wedding gown pala also so parang it was amazing that it really stood the test of time also <laughs> I don't 
And I never believed kasi na mamana yung <laughs> creativity and artistry. Although, sometimes, um, I wonder then if it's coincidence na he was an artist and then my dad is an artist. <laughs> and, yeah. <laughs> He's a painter. And then, like me, among the three siblings, I'm a filmmaker, and then my youngest brother naman is into animation. So, maybe <laughs> there's a possibility. I think it wasn't until, up until college so when, I, when I realized how important the National Artist Award is because I had filmmakers that I looked up to who were national artists. And then that's when I realized, wait, my Lolo is also a national artist. And then that's when I started researching now about him. <laughs> Only he knows. Uh... The, the the kind of gown he'll make for the client, you know, but it always comes out, you know, uh, you know, talagang awesome. You know, it's really uh, something that, uh, no, far from the expected, better than an, an, an expected uh, result of a gown. As I said, those illustrations are beautiful, but when he executes them, they're even much, much more beautiful. Because the color combination, and, you know, it's, it, and the beadings, and the, the work itself, mm. you know. Because, as I said, for him, fashion is not just trivia. It's, it's, it has a design that entails an art form. For him, that is the most important. It's an art in itself. Hindi kung kano ni ba pasta business lang, gawa lang ng gawa. Siya hindi, hindi, no? He's not ever going to dare make a gown with no, no, you know, impact or no art form, the right? yeah. hmm. uh, He died too early. He was only 16 when he died. And yet he had contributed a lot already from his creations. If he had lived longer, another 20 years, probably he would have come up with even, you know, we don't know what his talents would cover. A wide coverage of talent from from such a young age, the right? What I only one thing I learned that he used to profess. A good girl could only be a good one if he can talk. But I think that all art forms try to tell stories <laughs> and it's just a different execution. <laughs> so I guess they're similar in that way and they're able to make people because these days like there's so much text that you see on paper or um, words that can just easily <laughs> pass through your ears but with art kasi, um it lets you feel, lets you appreciate an idea, lets you think about things. So, fashion and film in that way are similar because they are able to tell stories that an audience can appreciate. Oh, I want him to be remembered as the genius of his craft and, uh, and uh, left a legacy in fashion. I want that to be remembered forever, I hope, <laughs> if there's such a thing. No? To be remembered as a uh, nationalistic person as well. Because he may have changed the Balintawa, but it was it became the most popular term, as, as he terms it, the term. Uh, all he did was modernize it. It's a national costume. It's only the Philippines who has a terno. And that was created by him. And that's why probably this is the most deserving national art piece for fashion and design. Diba? He was quite honest with everybody. He used to speak his mind. He, he was really honest. 